Welcome back to Otaku Daikun. Dai here, and it's time for another batch of Fate memes. Including that intro, I've compiled 69 memes from Fate and Type Moon at large. I give credit whenever I can, but some memes slip by without a source or watermark. If you find your meme here, let me know in the comments so we can celebrate your creativity. I source these memes from Twitter, Reddit, and my own Discord, where you can submit your own directly. If you enjoy this content, be sure to comment, share, and smash that subscription bell so you don't miss out on any of my new releases. Consider supporting the channel by becoming a paid member. You can click the join button here on this video or get the same perks on my Patreon or Subscribestar. Supporters can get early access to my videos as well as exclusive series like my latest lessons in Magecraft. Without further ado, let's dive in. I've finished farming! <laughs> That's about right, assuming all those generic event items added up to something. If I spent as much time in the gym as I did grinding mobile games, I'd be swole too. Here I come, king of games. Do you have enough cards in stock? Eh, Shiro's hair is too tame for him to be a Yu-Gi-Oh character. He climbed on top of the couch so he could cry louder. <laughs> Pupper dreams of the day Santa Gyaru makes it into mobile. That or he's like me, dreaming of the day we can actually play FGO Arcade on console. JP announces Kirei! Yay! Except, wait a minute, this is the same douche who killed our beloved Da Vinci! Never forget, never forgive. Oh fuckles, Knuckles! Something's on the wing of the plane! I'm not crazy, I swear! Yorokobe Shonen! Welcome, Father. I assume you've brought child support. Adios, Shonen. Hey! Get back here! <laughs> the Lord of the Tofu, Return of the Priest. Huh, the Corrupt Grail really does resemble the Eye of Sauron. You've seen battle nuns, too. Now, get ready for the Velocipaster, a man of the claw. <laughs> Lost Belt 7 seems completely unhinged. For as epic as the story is supposed to be, it's refreshing to see it can still be silly at times. The goofy expressions are wonderful. In 2004, fate changed the world by making King Arthur into a waifu. In 2019, they made the Greek gods into Mecca. And in 2022, dinosaurs roam Mesoamerica. <laughs> Teasers for the new servants. Obviously, there's Shrek, Neko Ark, Drip Goku, and Amogus, but I'm afraid I don't recognize the others. Actually, if I had to guess, I'd say that dude on the left is from JoJo? Tell me if I'm wrong. Daybit doesn't have perpetual bedhead. Rather, he wakes up with perfectly straight hair. He actually has to make his own bedhead. Without copious amounts of gel, bedhead usually is the closest we'll ever get to genuine anime hair. Man, Olga's so friggin' hot, except for that stupid hat! I guess she doesn't want anyone approaching her from the sides. Mitokris is now an Avenger servant. While I prefer the original Choco Bunny, I've gotta say, Anubis has gone from Lil to Macho. Maybe he's been farming too. Do you even loop, bro? Huh, I don't play JP. Is Nitokris alter good for NP spam? Regardless, ever since she dropped, FGO rose from 145th most popular mobile game to number one. Oh, I thought you were dead. My death was greatly exaggerated. FGO may not be the flashiest app around, but it sure has its fans. Genshin Impact used to think it was hot shit, but rivalries aren't so easily resolved. I still blame Genshin for not releasing Dea, though she's coming in March from what I've heard. Finally getting that servant you wanted! Yay! But then you realize you gotta grind mats. Ugh. For me, it's never the mats. It's always the QP. I never have enough money for that shit. In-game money, that is. Your wallet is mine. Luckily, I still haven't spent money on the game in a long while, though Kagekyo tried to change that. She ate over 400 quarts, and then in a double roll I got two of her. Gotcha is a wicked one. Thanks to my sources, here's a leak of the upcoming servant for New Year's. <laughs> well, you were right about the bunny ears. Everyone argues about how fate tries to redeem Nero, who in history is described as a horrible person. Meanwhile, Tamamo simply is evil, inhabiting a deadly stone for thousands of years, and that's why people love her. I still prefer Umus to Mikons, though. 
breaking news at 11. Ma, I found a weird fucking cat outside. Aw, but she's so cute. Stop, Daddy Starine. You shouldn't be getting off on watching someone quiver in terror. Do not judge me. My dong riseth and falleth as it pleases. <laughs> wow, this is like a meme layered on top of a meme. Not only did Gudako kill Waver by overworking him to death, but A1 Studios killed its staff by overworking them on so many high-end anime productions. Man, animators are what make the world go round. They deserve all the respect they can get. The reptile people saw Medusa's outfit and were like, Yo! <laughs> huh, I always thought Zuckerberg was a robot, but since Medusa is best snack, I'll allow it. Shiro Amakusa and Samiramis have a nice little family put together. This is surprisingly wholesome. Ritsuka looks adorable, too. Reen is the worst character imaginable. People only like her because of her appearance and not her character. Only one man could have written slander like this. <laughs> There's Emiya's theme, an absolute classic. But then you check out the Extella version and boom, it's rave time. Maybe it's just me, but I'd actually visit nightclubs if they played this kind of music. There's the Man of Steel, but then there's the cooler Man of Steel. Sorry, Clark, but this guy literally has swords stabbing out of his body. Can't get more metal than that. Okay, was anyone going to tell me that bathing in virgin blood is bad? Or was I just supposed to be aware of that myself? <laughs> this kinda is how it went anyway. Her delusions were so strong that she probably never questioned her own horrors. It's alright to damage toys, but kids shouldn't go touching other people's stuff without permission. There are consequences. <laughs> That's one hell of a fracture. If a figure is that expensive and valuable, put it in a case. Fixing a sword like that isn't even difficult. Just apply a dab of super glue. Those things come out of the box fragile as hell anyway. How to sound like a professional artist. Step 1. Pick two saber faces with a similar face. Step 2. Lay one on top of the other. Step 3. Reduce the opacity of the top layer. Step 4. Hey, wait! You're only supposed to criticize Takeuchi! When you compare these poses, it is a bit ridiculous how well they match up. Oh no! Kid, run! The T pose is for dominance, as well as the fact that she's perpetually giving us a panty shot. Your son calls me mommy too. I just think of Mordred, and this makes perfect sense. <laughs> Dejected Ritsuka cosplay. Just don't pick up on smoking like whoever else used that alleyway. I remember back when a golden ticket actually won you something. Whenever I'm around you, Valentine Senpai, I feel like I have worms in my stomach. Uh, Sakura, you always feel that way. <laughs> huh? Meltralis? No, it's a penguin! This is extra fascinating since I don't know this scene from Chainsaw Man. I only started with the anime. Speaking of anime references, that person's name is Bedivere. That person, Bedivere. Bedivere. Big brother, Bedivere. Mr. DeRay, I have one more question for you. Lily and Caval, where are they? This is why I don't trust Jill in Caldea. A lot of wicked people get redeemed through FGO, but I don't think he deserves it. Here's one from Sippy VA. It's been a while since I collabed with him. To those Catholic super moms who complain about FGO being a non-Christian game, we've got you covered. Well, at the very least, I'd actually trust Shiro here with kids. The other two? Well... Okay, Jeans, let's do this. La Grondement du Hain! The Cryptors, presented with other characters using the same seiyu. I'm surprised by Ophelia and Pepe. The others I can probably picture just fine. Then again, we hardly ever get to hear the cryptors in-game, since the Lost Belts don't have an anime. I swear, the CCC Sakura faces have such cute blushing faces. I just want to give them all a big smooch. Honestly, this applies to all of Wada Arko's blushing waifu. If nobody got me, I know Mashu got me. Can I get an amen? <laughs> just wait until we get to the lewd memes. How Mashu treats Ritsuka in the main game. Good morning, senpai. How are you today? Versus how Mashu treats Ritsuka in Fate Grand Carnival. You fucking horse simp! <laughs> She's just telling the truth, though I'm curious where the joke with red hair originally started. 
I want to get steamy with my Babbage. Turn my room into a sauna, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Doesn't this picture make Babbage look like he's wearing a tuxedo with big boobs? What? I promise I put actual cream in it this time. Well, excuse me for not believing you. <laughs> Tomboy and Femboy Milk. They may look the same, but it's always important to read the label. Actually, the Femboy one says 2% bulge added. What the hell does that mean? What did you do? Circumcise him? Weeb powers, unite! Uh, yes! I let my monster do the talking for me. And it says, stand down or I'll shoot. I can fire multiple rounds until the tank is empty. This is why you should never take your Astolfo out of containment. After midnight, it tries to come out and feed. If I had to see this, then so do you. You know, I love Femritska, but here she's so flat that it almost works. Until you remember how muscular Shiro actually is. <laughs> this is both cursed and cute. The blend of rage and embarrassment, mixed with a hint of sincerity, pull this one together. I mean, masters aren't even servants, right? So since you don't have any servant rights to violate, I could do anything I wanted to you. <laughs> she can violate my rights any day. In Soviet servant verse, servants own you. Welcome, this is Mana's cock. I told you we'd be taking a ride across the galaxy. Touche. And by galaxy, I mean the vacuous void between my legs. To infinity and beyond. Nito Crease is top tier waifu material. She's brown, which is hot as fuck. This altar is just a superior version of her in every way. Hey now, she's cool and all, but she's covering up all the places I loved in the original. Either way, it seems we both arrived at the same conclusion. Bras were first invented in 1891. Women in 1890. You know, for as miserable as life was back then, I'd like to think it had its perks. I still stand by this being one of my absolute favorite character designs. Me convincing people to watch Fate. Yeah, it's an eroge, but it's epic. I only bother talking to people who like it because it's eroge. Ah uh, yes, the doujin that broke the internet. Nobody seems bothered by the fact that Gilga also bangs Ushi right at the start of that doujinshi. If you imagine FGO as a harem simulator, every doujin that doesn't star Ritsuka counts as NTR. At least in the Lost Belts you can fend off the dudes lusting for Mashu. Hmm, for as famous as this screenshot is, the actual scene is relatively tame. I'm not into NTR. However, the married waifu are just as good. I like Bradamante's solution to this. She saves the front for Rogerio and lets Astolfo do what he wants with the back. Mind you, that does not count for real life. <laughs> that belongs to my husband. Knight of Owner! This just makes me picture Lancelot using some dude's wife as a weapon. Archer says, you must have made things very difficult for those around you since they had to avert their eyes. What? Explain it once, Archer. I don't appreciate your tone. This only works for people who are taller than her, hence why she never realized it herself. Man, this one just makes me happy. Awkwardly silent breakfast at the Emia Mansion. Those two definitely boned yesterday. I'm surprised you couldn't hear it. Then again, the H scenes were never voiced. I wonder how high we'd need to set a GoFundMe goal to get Ayako Koasumi to record for Golden Bathtub. I would bury my dong so far up your ass that whoever pulls it out will be crowned King Arthur. My Vinky is the key. The shirt cut meme with FGO. We've got side boob with Kama, inner boob with Enkidu when they feel like it, a window for young Guife, and my favorite from Penthesilia. <laughs> Again, imagine that instead of farming events, FGO encouraged us like this. I wonder how successful I could run a gym that caters to this exact concept. It'd be like Hooters for weightlifting. Be sure to wash the equipment after every use. And last up, Kazuya Nino wants to remake Fade Extra CCC, but is worried about the game being too lewd. With everything I just showed, who are you afraid will judge you? Make it, and we will buy. But yeah, give us extra record first, though. Given that's relatively the size of a watermelon, I don't think that's gonna fit. I anyway, that does it for today's memes. Again, if any of yours are here, let us know so we can better appreciate your work. 
Until next time, tell me which ones were your favorites in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this channel, help us grow by liking, commenting, sharing the video, subscribing to Otaku Daikun, and most of all, smashing that notification bell so you don't miss out on all of our anime discussion, lore, or Let's Play content. You can support us directly through Patreon, Subscribestar, or our YouTube membership, all of which come with benefits like exclusive vids and early access. As always, celebrate, celebrate your, your fandom! fandom. I want to give a special shout out to all my $10 and up supporters. Video Gamer 75, Release Trash for Skinco, Steven Elak, Samuel Gersten, The Nonchalant Ostrich, Otaku Mom, Jens Bauman, Mystic Samurai 1983, Lord Omagoden, Free Brick, RNG or Shuffles 1498, Alexis Yukio Gomez Yamato, Link Pendrago, King Kobo, Observer Bellis, Flash Daniel, Elden Yarbro, Horsemen of Justices, James Hewitt, Uncanny EXP, Matthew McAfee, Game King 352, Caitlin B, Vladimir. Mirovna, Succubus Sakura, Jonathan Padua, The Taz 96, President Irina Vladimirovna Putina, Maxwell's Demon, Kengo X 77, SF Giants Fan Mike, Akakaze Yume, and user C100CAD1. Thank you all so much!